All right, welcome to Total Comp Skills and Components. Today we're going to demonstrate how to set up and calibrate a Total Comp TLI indicator with our standard floor scale. Turn on the unit, press the unit button while it's counting down, then press print, gross net, and tear. Parameter comes up as PO check weight. So by pressing the tear button, which is actually an up and down arrow button, we arrive at P3. Before we can enter into this parameter, we have to press the button inside that little hole. It's a momentary switch, a momentary button that we could press. So reaching in there, pressing the button, allows us to enter into the mode. We would like to actually go and enter into setup mode. So by pressing the tear button, we could actually see decimal points. Now, at this particular floor scale, we're going to calibrate 2,500 pound by one pound. So we have no decimal point. If we would like to change that, we could change it easily by pressing the up arrow key tear button. Now, we, have, we don't want any decimal points at this point because we're going to calibrate with one pound resolution. So we leave it at simple zero. We hit the zero button, which is the enter button, and we arrive at decimal. Second that we could set is the division. We are able to set the parameter, how accurate we want the scale to count up in graduations. Now, we would like to have one pound, so we actually gradually go on up by one pound. If we want to go up to by 2 pounds, we could do that 5, 10, 20, or 50 pounds. We are at 1 pound, so we hit enter again. Next will be capacity. How do we set our capacity? Well, we know it's a 2,500 pound floor scale, so we would like to change this 2,000 pound that's already in there to 2,500. Now, to do that, we're going to use the print and the MR button, which is also a dual function button, as it shows with arrow keys on it. The flashing digit is the one that we're going to change. So in this case, we're going to change that zero to a five. So the tear button, again, with the up arrow key, we're going to press it until we arrive at number five. So now you can see the indicator shows 2,500 pound. Press the enter button and we are done with set up the scale. Next will be calibration. It says calibration, enter. Unload. It tells you to unload the scale. See the little stable light here? Make sure nothing is on, on a scale because any movement to the platform, the stable light goes off. Hit enter. Now we are ready put a thousand pound on it. But before we do that, this is a known weight that we're going to put on. So previously, this particular indicator was calibrated with 200 pounds on it. So it tells you, oh yeah, I had 200 pounds before. So we need to change that. To change it, using the arrow keys again, change the numbers. We're going to make the two at zero. And we move forward, and we, go, we know that we're going to put a thousand pound on it, so we change it to one thousand. After we've done that, we press enter. Now the indicator tells us, load the weight. After we, the weight is loaded, make sure it's loose. The chain does not touch. 
We loaded the weight to the platform. Stable light is on. We press the enter button. The scale tells us, hey, I passed the test. Now let's see when it recycles, what will it show? It will show a thousand pound. So the calibration, as far as with the thousand pound test weight, is done. And the indicator should be back at zero. And to make sure that we did it properly, we could do what they call quarter testing or weight testing at the quarters. Now for that, I have 50 pound test weights. Placing the test weight at the corners, you can take a look, see if the 50 pound is really 50 pound. Well, seems like we did it right. So this is the calibration of a TLI indicator with the base. Now it's important, as I told you before, we do have a hole on the bottom of the indicator for calibration and setup. So don't forget, every little packet comes with a screw. Don't forget to put the screw in there. We also include a lead seal and a wire. So you can seal the calibration port, so nobody can mess around with it. And it's also it's an NTEP requirement in many states, not just a seal that goes between the front and the back side of the indicator as a label. After you do all that, you can insert the lead seal at the end and use a plier or a sealer to seal the indicator. At this point, you're done with the calibration, you can use the scale in a legal for trade environment. Thank you.